Sometimes we think of language as a permanent, unchanging fact. It's made up of all the words in the dictionary, set down in black and white. But how did those words get in the dictionary in the first place? Cookies weren't originally found on websites. Facebook changed the meaning of friend. And catfish isn't just an aquatic animal. Hi, I'm Will. I'm going to discuss how words get added to the dictionary. It's a fascinating process that you're actually experiencing all the time. But first, like and subscribe for more videos like this. In a sense, it all starts with you. Dictionaries don't create words. That job falls squarely on everyday people. Whenever you hear a new word and start using it, you're contributing to the evolution of language. Using mid when something is mediocre, calling a picture of yourself a selfie, unfriending someone on Facebook. You're making the dictionary happen in real time. Lexicographers, the people whose job it is to compile dictionaries, keep track of words that appear in print and digital publications. Eventually, if a word is used across a wide spectrum of people and in a meaningful and consistent way, it can get added to the dictionary. That means that silly slang word your family made up won't get added to any widely distributed dictionaries. But maybe if you got your whole town saying it. The process relies a bit on judgment calls. Ever heard of a blook? A portmanteau of blog and book? It was almost added to the Oxford English Dictionary in 2006, referring to a book that's a collection of online posts. That you're not familiar with the word probably means they made the right call leaving it out. And it's not just whole new words the dictionary adds. Existing words can often take on new definitions, sometimes far from their original meanings. Technology is often a driver of these kinds of additions. Mouse and bug took on totally different meanings when computers became common. And the internet has given us new ways to use words like viral, cloud, cookie, and troll, just to name a few. The same goes for pop culture. Until the 2010 movie Catfish, we just knew that word as a way of describing a group of fish. Now though, if you say you were catfished, a lot of people will understand you're employing its newer, informal usage. You've been tricked into a relationship of some kind with someone misrepresenting their identity. That alternate definition is recent enough that you might very well remember the source, but once a word gets adopted into common usage, it's easy to forget the origin. Brainiac, meaning a really intelligent person, comes to us from comic books. Before Superman faced off with a villain named Brainiac, that word wasn't widely used. Some people take issue with the way different reference books approach the question of which words to include or exclude. In a lot of dictionaries these days, for example, one definition for the word literally is figuratively. That can drive people nuts. But if a dictionary's purpose is to describe how people use the language rather than prescribe the correct way to use it, it makes sense. That's why every year, most dictionaries will add hundreds of new words, keeping pace with how people speak and write in the real world. Can you think of any contenders for this year? Let us know in the comments, and thanks for watching.